morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh my goodness. Come on. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Uh, what we're going to do here, what I'm going to do for you all, and today is also a special day for the fathers as well. And so what I'm going to do for you all is to give you a purification. That means a cleansing. The cleansing is to take away all the negative energy and let the positive energy. My name is Catherine Hummingbird Ramirez, and I'm the Carib Tribal Indian Queen. The word Kayeri, which uh, the island of Trinidad and Tobago, uh, that is the indigenous name for the island before Christopher Columbus ever think of coming to that island or all those islands in the Caribbean. Um, it means sacred land, a holy land. There were many tribes in that island. There were the Caribs and the Arawak, the Nuyupos, Wawa, the Wara. The Wara is the oldest tribe, was the oldest tribe. Uh, that goes back, according to archaeologists, over more than a million years or more um, back then. And then after Chris, Christopher Columbus came, uh, of course, he was dealing with Queen Isabella in Spain. So um, that's when all the destruction came for the indigenous people. So uh, actually, that's when the genocide began for indigenous people. I am a voice for the indigenous people. It doesn't matter whether you're from here, North America, you're from South America, Central America, Latin America, the Caribbean, because there is indigenous people that is very shy uh, and they need a lot of help. And they are not getting the help in, in, like I say, medicine and all of these things. And they are taking away their land. And so when I go to, whether if it's Ecuador or, or Peru or, or, or Venezuela or Brazil or, or in the Caribbean or Guyana or Suriname or wherever, and when they call a press conference, I would speak you know, I would really tell them like it is. And so when I leave, then I would get a call that, you know, Queen, um, uh, they get some land or they get some money or they get something. Why? So it's like, it's like um, when I'm coming through here, I could feel the spirits of these people. I could feel, feel the native people, you know, and it's, I feel like I want to cry. My name being Hummingbird. It's um, the Carib tribe and you have clans. So you have the Hummingbird or, or, or the Hibiscus or, or Papabua or whatever, you know, those are coming from that. So. In my tribe, they have eight clans. So the eight clans is by animal names, by bird names, by river names, by... So like the Orinoco, you have the Orinoco that passes through Trinidad, or you have the Caroni River, Orinoco River, the Caroni River, Oropooch, which is a carib word, uh, and all of those things like that, Blanche shares river and stuff like that. When you say the word queen, you mean in, it meaning a chief. So you're responsible for your people, whatever they need, you know, whatever the, the causes you have to try to help, to fight for them, for whatever they need. So that, that's the responsibility for that. You have to be coming from an ancestral line. So it's not a competition 
like in Trinidad and Tobago, they have the big carnival. And so uh, most of the time I've been asked, are you, uh, when did you win this competition? But it's not a competition, it's an ancestral thing. It's like royal blood. But today in Trinidad and Tobago, they will pick uh, a Carib queen now. They also pick like um, uh, a princess. So they would get the young girls and they would just pick, you know, a, a princess. And you have to go through a, a big process for that. Back in your store. Come back with us. The shamans, the indigenous people, well, we have shamans in Trinidad that if you have a problem, you don't have to go to a psychologist or a psychiatrist. You go to the shaman. The shaman would get you better, whether it is with bush medicine or whether it is with uh, spirituality by praying and stuff like that. But um, the shamans in Trinidad are very respected because um, it, it's still continuing. It, it might be, you know, not much of them alive anymore because most of them are, are very old and, and of course they have to die, but we still have quite a few. Um, of course you met one of them, his name is Odonis. And Odonis is a very good shaman down there, and myself. To share with you, which I didn't touch on, that I've been in the Miami area for almost 40 years now. The state of Florida is a beautiful place and has so much richness, starting with the indigenous people of the state of Florida. The Miccosukee people are wonderful people, the Seminoles. And I, I honor you all, the Mekazuki people, that being good people, and the Seminole and whoever indigenous people that is here in the state of Florida. Because the indigenous people around the world have to come together as one, because we are not many that left in the world anymore. So with this in mind, and what some of, us, some of us trying to do is to save these different sites so it wouldn't be destroyed. Because I was told that America have no culture. Well, what happened to the indigenous people and their culture? Of course it have culture. So with that, I hope in my heart that one day that all our native brothers and sisters, grandmothers and grandfathers, mothers and, and, and aunts, and all of us would get together and have like a family reunion. What, what can I say? <laughs>